uh, not so much about sculptures, it's about the ideas behind the sculptures. It's not so much about this shoe that we're wearing or anything that Nike makes, it's the ideas behind them. I mean, um, Nike is an ideas company. Since 2012, Nike and Tom Sachs has been in a joint adventure to create a shoe that is literally out of this world. It's literally out of this world. It is so, so, so creative and so, so, so good. Now the third installment has been revealed. I just wanna give you guys my opinion on the shoe and I wanna hear your opinion as well. The Mars Yard 2.0 in my opinion was one of the greatest releases we've seen in a very, very, very long, long time. It's such an amazing and creative shoe. It's just done perfectly. And to create a shoe that's called the Mars Yard, a shoe that you'd wear in Mars, the design, everything about it, like I, I could I could go on a whole new topic about the past shoe, but I want to concentrate on the new one coming up, the 3.0. There's a lot of talk about this shoe because it's called the Overshoe, right? So we call it the 3.0, but it's called the Mars Yard Overshoe. And it looks as if there's like a mid Mars Yard in some sort of bag coating to protect the shoe. Now the talk is that there is a shoe inside of a shoe. For the price point to be about, what is it, 400, 350, 400 pounds, it's not really being, it's not being confirmed yet, but 350 to 400 pounds, it does make you wonder, it does make you think, why are you paying the extra bit? It's a known fact for Tom Sachs to, to not like resale. It's a known fact that he doesn't like that. It's a known fact that he doesn't like just people reselling the shoe. He wants people that love the shoe to wear the shoe, which possibly could be the reason why Nike have raised the price point. But I like conspiracy theories. <laughs> so the talk is that there's a mid Mars yard and it's inside the shoe, which you can take out. And then if you take it out, you can wear the shoes normally. And then when it's raining, when it's horrible weather, you can put the overshoe on it and keep it protected. And I tell you what, if that's the case, then please, 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 please send me a pair now. <laughs> now this shoe has got a lot of hate. It has got a lot of hate. I've watched the video of this shoe. So that, that's just a fan theory that's come out, but I, I don't know whether that's true. I don't know whether it will be true. I have watched the video of the shoe. And basically it is a shoe for the winter months. It is a shoe for bad weather. Tom Sachs goes on to say the Mars Yard, the, the previous Mars Yard was horrible in the rain. It, you know, the, the water went through the toe box, he didn't like that. So he wanted to make a different version for those months. For the months of, you know, you can wear your Mars Yard that is out in that weather without getting your shoe ruined or without getting wet feet or without feeling uncomfortable. So the previous Mars Yard will be for the, the summer months and this Mars Yard will be for the winter months. The shoe is really interesting. When I first saw the shoe, I, 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 I promise you, I really did think, what the hell is this? What is this? But looking into the shoe, reading about the shoe, the, the des like why, what it's designed from, what it's based off of, you're gonna hate me for this, but I kind of like the shoe. I kind of like the shoe. Yeah, it'll be hard to pull off, but I've got this like outfit in my head, like a nupsy, some like track pants, like winter track pants, and then those shoes. I really think they look quite good. Yeah, I actually kind of like the shoe. And I will try and get it. I will try and get the shoe because I just genuinely like it. And I feel like it's gonna be a really, really good piece to put in the collection. Even if I don't wear it all the time, it will still be a good piece to put in the collection. So the mid Mars yard that's in the shoe, it pull up with like a pull, like a pull string. And then it's got like that, uh, that lace lock that you pull down to, to tighten the shoe. Um, which is which is good. I mean, it, it'd definitely be more comfortable, but I guess you can't do laces up because you've got that big bag that, that's surrounding the shoe. So that's the only way you really can do the shoe up. That's all that it really gives us about the Mars Yard that's inside. Other than the tongue, you can see it's a mid. Surrounding the shoe, you've got that protective bag. A lot of jokes. <laughs> I go on Twitter, I go on Instagram, there's a lot of jokes. Um, but yeah, think about practicality. Like if you're going on like a holiday to like Austria or something, I think it'll be sick. Like it'd be a really cool boot to wear. But yeah, surrounded by this bag that's obviously water resistant. Um, yeah, and it's gonna protect the shoe and it's gonna protect your feet in the winter months. The sole is like an icy blue sole, um, which looks comfortable and it looks similar to the Mars Yard sole. So yeah, that looks it looks good. Like again, there's a lot of protection. There's a lot of rubber. Um, there's a lot of protection in the shoe. It's definitely made to be a winter shoe. And then on the top of like the bag, 
I'm gonna just call it the bag. <laughs> on top of the bag, you've got another string with a lace lock that you pull down just to lock it around your ankle. Or you can wear it with the bag folded down and the tongue just showing a little bit, which would definitely be my preference of wearing the shoe if I was to ever get it or wear it. Across the shoe, you've got those uh, the, the straps as well, just to tighten the bag and tighten the shoe around your foot, which again, it probably is really, really comfortable. But there's not much we have, like there's not much we have. We have what it's designed off, of course. It's a shoe that's, it's, it's the Mars Yard. You gotta be very, very, very like, creative. You gotta be really creative to actually wear the shoe, pull off the shoe, wanna own the shoe. You've gotta be that mindset of, you know, different. And I really, really like the fact that it's based off of Mars. I like the fact it's based off of space and space shoes and stuff. It's just, that's really, really cool. That's really, really cool. And I would love to have the old chance to just try and pull it off. I, mate, I don't think, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't think I'll be able to, but I'd love to try and it's definitely a shoe I'd like to see in person. <sighs> My opinion on the shoe is very, very mixed one. At first, I really didn't like it. I thought, what, what, what has Tom Sachs done, man? What has he done? Like, the Mars Yard was such an iconic shoe and this one's just, just changed. It's just changed. But then when I think about it, I look at more images, it definitely grows on you. It definitely grows on you. Whether that's gonna, that's gonna kill me or not, I don't know, but it definitely, definitely does grow on you. But guys, I wanna know your opinion on the shoe. What do you actually think of the shoe? Have you heard any theories that I haven't? Do you think the inner shoe is actually able to come out of the overshoe? Like how amazing would that be? The price point is 350 to 400 pound. It's steep. There must be something else, <laughs> there must be something else. But maybe that's just hope uh, from myself to just hope that idea comes true because it'd just be, that'd be like amazing for me. That'd be amazing for me. That'd be one of the best releases of the year by far. But guys, I wanna know your opinion, so comment down below. My Instagram and my Twitter is in the description, so give me a follow. Hit the thumbs up button for me if you did like the video. Subscribe to me for more videos, guys, and I will see you soon on the next one. Peace. The um, Mars Yard overshoe, Fidlock buckles, and this is a waterproof Dyneema bag. Um, and there's like a, there's a Mars Yard stitched in there. So this is like a winter shoe. We call it the March Yard, like the month of March. But it's maybe, you know, if the Mars Yard is for Mars, this maybe is for uh, the icy moon of Jupiter known as Europa.